today is teaching me anything, it's that I need to do more show prep. Hello, welcome back to Riding with Ree with me and Ted. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've been super inspired by all of the virtual eventing that I've seen going on, so I thought I would have a little virtual event all of my own. I had hoped that by summer Ted and I would be off to our first competition or a fun ride, but unfortunately that is looking like it's not going to happen. So I've dug this out of my wardrobe. This is actually not even a dressage stock. Most of my competition stuff is still at my parents, but I thought that I would dress Ted up, I'd plait him and put him in a full Le Mer set, and then we would go and have some fun in the school, so stick around. If you do enjoy today's video, do give a thumbs up leave me any questions or comments below i love hearing what you guys think and what you want to see next if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe ted is my first horse share and i'm showing my tips tricks and fails as i go along so join us for the ride first things first we want to feed all the horses so that ted has an hour between his breakfast and when i ride him then i'm going to give him a quick groom and then i'm going to wet a comb and wet his mane to make it easier to plait because i don't have any plaiting wax then you want to separate your mane into even pieces. Traditionally, you want to have an odd number of plaits down the horse's mane and then your forelock plait is going to make it up to an even number. I haven't plaited in about six years, so I'm a little bit rusty. And honestly, it's a good thing that you can't see too closely because there were definitely some flyaway hairs. But if you would like a relatable plaiting tutorial, let me know. We're about halfway now. They look okay. You know, you can't see all the, the bad things. I actually prefer plaiting with needle and thread, but we didn't have that today. We had plaiting bands. So I actually think they ended up looking all right, it took me about an hour, hence all the speeding up. Didn't want you to have to sit through that, but the forelock part was a complete mess. I couldn't get him to stand still enough to do the top part, but you know, you can't see that either, so let us move on. The tail was the real disaster, honestly. I can't do his tail. I've tried. Ted's plaited, so now it's my turn. Let's see if I can remember how to do a stock better than I can remember how to tuck up a horse. That was a bit of a disaster. I didn't even attempt the tail. I mean, I tried, but I'm terrible at them. It's actually quite cold, so I'm wishing I had my jacket, but I don't, so we'll just have to make do. That is the fun of throwing your own show. You make all the rules. Shirt's on. Now for my stock. I did actually have to... Let's put these down. I did actually have to watch a video reminding myself how to do a stock last night because it has been so long since I won one. I mean, I've literally not competed in six years, something like that, because I've just not had the horse. Right, this is quite hard to do without a mirror. I don't know if that looks right, but let's just cover it up. Cover up our sins. Oh, I've done this the wrong way. Let's try this again. I actually really like this stock, like I really love the colour and I haven't really had a chance to wear it yet because it's not really one you can wear to like a normal show, I feel like it's more of like a hunting stock. If I actually manage to do this on video without um, messing it up, I'm going to be very impressed. I'm back, I had to remind myself with a quick tutorial. I think that might have to do, you know. I also don't have a stock tie at the moment, so... See, there's so much that I don't have. I'm gonna pin this. Normally you wouldn't see it because obviously it would be under a jacket, but we don't have a jacket, so. I think if today is teaching me anything, it's that I need to do more show prep. So next we move on to tacking up, which mercifully I know how to do, although I did forget to put those blue ears on underneath his bridle, I had to put them on again. This whole Lemur fancy set thing is new to me. I do know how to do bandages, which is a blessing. And um, sorry to my old boss if you're watching this. It turns out there is a lot I have forgotten in my six years in London. And um, well, thank God for YouTube tutorials. Am I right? All right, we are down in the school, AKA we have arrived at the competition. And if we're playing by the rules, at least partly, we need to take this martingale off because British dressage does not allow martingales because it interferes with horses' mouth. Grackle nosebands, I believe, have just been approved by British dressage, but martingales not. So, I've never actually ridden Ted without a martingale before, so this should be fun or disastrous, which honestly seems to be kind of the theme of the day. Martingale is off. Time for some dressage. Always in my also a rule in dressage and in this fake slash real competition gloves
aside, if you are recreating this look, please make sure you take your plaits out of your horse when you're done. It's not nice to leave them on all day, especially if you don't need to. And if you have enough hair to do a plait, walk around with a plait in your hair and a top knot all day and you'll see what I mean. It gets itchy and uncomfortable. So do take your plaits out once you're finished. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments below. Let me know what you want to see next. And do subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. I wanna go back to who I used to be so we